In this lesson, I'll show you three quick examples on how to find the tangent plane and normal line using partial derivatives. Question one reads, find the tangent plane to the elliptical paraboloid z is equal to 2x squared minus y squared at the point 1, 1, and 3. To be successful here, you'll need to understand the following, where if your function f has continuous partial derivatives, an equation of the tangent plane to the surface z is equal to your function at the point p is defined below. So with that being said, the first thing that I'll do is find the partial derivative with respect to x, y, and z. Once I find those three functions, I will evaluate them at 1, 1, and 3, and that will give us these factors, the ones I'm putting arrows underneath. So let's start by finding f sub x, or the partial derivative of the function with respect to x, and I'll bring this variable z over to the right side. So my function is 0 is equal to 2x squared plus y squared minus z. Now I'll find the partial derivative. I'll represent that as f sub x is equal to 2x squared becomes 4x. This term and this term are constants. They become 0. f sub y is equal to, that's a constant. That becomes 2y. That's a constant. It's 0. Finally, f sub z is equal to, constant, constant, minus 1. Now I'll evaluate these three equations at the point 1, 1, and 3. This becomes 4, that becomes a 2, and that stays as negative 1. So technically what I just found is the gradient of our function at x, y, and z, and it's equal to 4, 2, and negative 1. What I will do next is take 4 and substitute it where I see this, take 2, substitute it where I see that, and take negative 1 and substitute it there. Leaving me with 0 is equal to 4 bracket x minus x sub p, that's the x coordinate, 1, plus, that will be replaced with 2 bracket y minus 1, that's coming from there, plus, this final part is negative 1, bracket, z minus 3. If we clean this up, we'll have 4x minus 4, plus 2y minus 2, minus z plus 3. Minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6, plus 3 is negative 3. So 4x plus 2y minus z minus 3. And as a final touch, you can bring this negative z over, where we have z is equal to 4x plus 2y minus 3. This equation right here represents what I'm hovering over, which is this linear plane. If you'd like to see the answers to questions 2 and 3, make sure you watch part 2 of this series where we'll work on those solutions.